السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم و we'll talk today about the most common questions in cardiology that have been asked frequently in in bases. The first question in in bases that how would you manage how would you manage your patient? What are the investigation you will do for for your patient? You have to uh, say it in loud voice. I will do complete blood picture, full word, not CBC. I will do complete blood picture looking for anemia and leukocytosis. I will do ESR, erythrocyte sedimentation rate, and C-reactive protein looking for signs of inflammation. I will do urea and electrolytes. Uh, moreover, I will do uh, electrocardiography looking for arrhythmia and uh, left ventricular hypertrophy in case and chest x-ray looking for signs of pulmonary hypertension and pulmonary congestion and uh, cardiomegaly. I will do echocardiogram or echocardiograph looking for the valve lesion and uh, any other valvular, valvular uh, lesions and the ventricular size uh, and ejection uh, fraction. I will do uh, angiography looking for any uh, visual uh, disease. The second question would be uh, how would you manage this patient or what, uh, what is your management plan for this patient? It's a non-pharmacological and pharmacological. Non-pharmacological would be patient education, counseling about his health condition, vaccination against infective endocarditis if indicated, and social and psychological nutritional support for the patient. The pharmacological uh, treatment for the patient would be treatment of heart failure at present, long life warfarin if indicated, or long life blood thinning medication, or long life anticoagulation if indicated. Embrosatic valves, the, uh, the INR issue 2.5 to 3.5, and the embryostatic valve with AA for the resume 3.5 up to 4. Rate and resume control as indicated in case of atrial fibrillation and surgical treatment if indicated. The complication of any valve, even uh, VSD, the complications of for any valve, infective endocarditis, thromboembolic manifestation, arrhythmia, pulmonary hypertension, and pulmonary congestion, moreover anemia, complication of any valve, infective endocarditis, thromboembolic manifestation, arrhythmia, pulmonary hypertension, and pulmonary congestion and anemia. In case of prosthetic valve disease, you may add valvular dysfunction and dehiscence. What are the indication of Infective endocarditis. Infective endocarditis uh, can be treated by amoxicillin 2 gram uh, once before the procedure by two to three hours. The indication are prosthetic valve, partially corrected or partially surgical, cor surgi surgical corrected congenital or surgically con corrected congenital heart disease or partially corrected congenital heart disease, previous infective endocarditis and heart transplant. This is a bullet and thank you.